Hi guys, uh, here we have uh, released uh, part number 2 of class number 5. Okay, the reason is uh, the illustration 4 which was released earlier, illustration 4 of uh, maintenance management which released earlier uh, was replaced by some formula, new formula. So I have released part 2 of class number 5. So here I am covering uh, cla uh, illustration 4 of uh, maintenance management okay so guys this is a very important problem and there is a very high chance that you may get this problem in eight marks so this problem is about the finding the lowest cost of uh, preventive maintenance frequency so what is the time gap between which you should fix the preventive maintenance so that maybe monthly once or twice okay and what is the frequency you need to derive from the formula and that frequency will give the lowest cost of maintenance to the company okay and we are going to see that kind of problem now guys okay so for if you have any doubts please share a comment on this okay so let's start with the problem uh, so guys uh, this is the illustration number four uh, a company has 50 identical machines in its facility the cost of preventive servicing is 20 and the cost of repair after breakdown repair after breakdown is 100 so this uh, company has uh, forecasted two cost for the two policies one is without preventive maintenance and which means repair after breakdown which will cost 100 per machine and cost of preventive servicing will cost 20 per machine okay the company seeks minimum cost of preventive servicing frequency so what does this frequency means is whether to do preventive maintenance each week or monthly once or two months once or three months once so what is the preventive uh, maintenance servicing frequency okay which will give the minimum cost to the company and has collected the data on breakdown probabilities in the following table so they have given the breakdown probabilities so here is the probabilities and when you total all the probabilities it comes to one so which means there are total eight months so there are total eight months in the eight months the hundred percent probability of failure and here uh, this is the months after servicing so you have serviced all the machines all the machines are running fine in the first month you have a probability of 10 percentage failure and in the second month you have a probability of 5 percentage failure 0 0.05 means it is 5 percentage in the third month if there is a 5 percentage chance so you are just going to do a product between the number of months after servicing and the probability this is given in the question itself so this is the months after servicing after one month of service there is a 10 percent of machines will get failure after two months in on the two, on the second month 5% will be uh, failed so the product of these two is given here so the product of these two is given here and this gives a value of 5.4 so month does not have any units this is in probability does not have any units this is in months so months the multiplied by probability is going to be in months so this is 5.4 months okay so guys what does this 5.4 mean okay so before that i i should say that the question has given the cost of preventive servicing as 20 and the question has given the cost of breakdown service as 100 and these two cost are per machine basis or per machine rates they have not given if it is per machine or for all the 15 machines but it is for per machine rates okay and the average number of months for 100 percent breakdown so if you total all the probability it comes to one which means for 100 percentage uh, it takes eight month and the average will going to be the probability multiplied by the uh, number of months elapsed after servicing and that is going to give us 5.4 months is the average number of months in which 100 percent breakdown will take place okay so guys i am going to calculate the maintenance cost without preventive maintenance policy so 
this is not asked in the question but uh, this may be one of the two marks question what you may have so the pre without preventive maintenance if you can see the number of machines i have 50 machines and the cost of one breakdown repairing the one breakdown it is given in the question as cr is 100 rupees so for 50 machines multiplied by 100 rupees and for 50 missions to fail, it will take an average of 5.4 month. So divided by 5.4 month, it's going to be 925 rupees per month, guys. So this is without preventive maintenance policy. So now I am going to install preventive maintenance policy in my company. Okay, so preventive maintenance policy, does that avoid all the breakdown? No, guys. So what is preventive maintenance policy to prevent the breakdown we are taking some additional proactive steps that is called preventive maintenance so it does not mean that we are avoiding breakdown we can limit the breakdown so for example we have a breakdown cost of uh, so much uh, thousand rupees with preventive maintenance by incorporating preventive maintenance we can bring down the breakdown cost okay but the breakdown cannot be eliminated okay so for example after preventive maintenance has been installed for preventive maintenance policy we are going to incur some cost plus breakdown is not going to be eliminated so breakdown is also going to be there so there will be some cost of repairing the breakdown so the total maintenance cost after installing the preventive maintenance policy would be cost of preventive maintenance policy plus the cost of repairing the breakdown okay so so what is our aim so our aim is for example initially without preventive maintenance policy we had thousand as the cost of repairing the breakdown and af after installing the preventive maintenance policy the cost of preventive maintenance policy plus cost of repairing the breakdown must be lesser than thousand then only the preventive maintenance policy is beneficial okay so this is the basic ideology of this problem guys okay so now i am going to install preventive maintenance policy so in the preventive maintenance policy if you can see in the month one in the first month b1 amount of machines is going to fail okay i assume b1 as the number of breakdowns that is going to happen in the first month so if you can see for the first month 10 percentage of machines will fail so out of 50 machines out of 50 machines 10 percent will fail which means five machines will fail and all these five machines will be immediately repaired and in the second month, 5% you can see here, in the second month, 5% of machines will be failed. 5% of machines will be failed. So, I, I take it as in the month 2, total breakdown is uh, B2 and 5% of machines will be broken down. For the 50 machines, uh, uh, that it is the second month so for example for the 50 missions uh, now in the cumulative way I am taking this as 10 percentage plus 5 percentage as 50 15 percentage so for 50 missions okay for the 50 missions this is the second month and for the first uh, in the first month we have already repaired five missions for that it is the first month so for 50 missions it is going to be 10 percentage 5 plus 5 percentage so this is the 10 percentage plus 5 percentage 15 percentage and for the five missions which are repaired in the month one so here we saw some five missions right this five missions is this so for the five missions which are repaired on the first month it is the first month probability which is 10 percentage so guys, now we can just see there is a formula behind it. I am just writing down the formula and extrapolating the formula. So here you can see B1 to B7. Okay, so here 8 months are given. So you can see 8 months are given. So we need to calculate from B1 from B1 to uh, B8. So I have extrapolated the formula till 
I have extrapolated the formula till B7 only, so you can extrapolate till B8, okay. So B is nothing but as I said earlier, number of machines that is going to break down in the first month, that is B1. In the second month it is B2, in the third month it is B3, okay. So in the first month there are total number of M machines, M multiplied by probability of the first month which is 10 percentage. So 50 multiplied by 10 percentage is going to be 5 machines, B1 is, go, is equal to 5. B2, 50 machines, for the 50 machines it is 10 percentage plus 5 percentage which is 15 percentage plus for the number of machines which is broken down on the first on the first uh, uh, which uh, which has been repaired on the first month it is B1 and multiplied by P1 because it is the first month for them okay because it is repaired on the first month and second month is going to be the first month for them so first month probability is 10 percentage and I have brought the 10 percentage here P1 is nothing but 10 percentage so this is B1 to B8 and this is P1 to P8 so this is P1 to P8 and this is B1 to B8 guys So guys, so I am just extrapolating the formula. So by for all the 50 machines which is placed nearby, for every month it's going to be the cumulative probability. If you can see here it is for the second month it is P1 plus P2. For the third month it is going to be P1 plus P2 plus P3. For the fourth month it is going to be P1 plus P2 plus P3 plus P4. And for the fifth month it is going to be P1 plus P2 plus P3 plus P4 plus P5. Okay. And when you see what are all is added to it, in the second month, number of machines which are repaired in the first month is going to be B1 multiplied by P1, okay. And in the third month, B1 multiplied by P2 because it is the second month for the number of machines which is repaired on the first month, okay. Next, B1 multiplied by P3, B1 multiplied by P4 b1 multiplied by p5 and b1 multiplied by p6 similarly in the second month b2 machines has been failed and we are repairing b2 machines in the second month so for the third month for the b2 machines it is the first month so i am multiplying by the probability p1 and b2 multiplied by p2 b2 multiplied by p3 b2 multiplied by p4 so once more guys for the third month, B3 number of machines has been failed. So we have repaired B3 number of machines in the third month. So for the repaired machines, it is going to be the first month is going to be the B4. So for B3 number of machines, P1, it is the first month. So the probability of failure is only P1. Next is B3 multiplied by P2, B3 multiplied by P3 and B3 multiplied by P4. So guys just extrapolate, apply this formula, you can find B1 to B8, it is nothing but number of machines that will break down from month 1 to month 8, okay. So after finding number of breakdown, as I said earlier, as I said earlier, we need to as I said earlier, we need, for the preventive maintenance policy, we are not eliminating the breakdown. So the cost is going to be the cost of repairing the breakdown plus cost of preventive maintenance policy. So there is two parts. So I call the part one as repairing cost of repairing after breakdown and part two I am calling it as preventive servicing cost. So you can see here it is part one is nothing but the repairing after breakdown and part 2 is preventive servicing cost and sum of these two part 1 plus part 2 is going to be the cost of preventive maintenance. It is the total cost of preventive maintenance. So you can see here preventive maintenance cost per month is equal to repairing the breakdown plus preventive servicing policy. Okay, so part one I am going to work out. We, we have one data what is from B1 to B8 which is the number of breakdowns happening in each month. Okay, so here I am going to have for uh, the formula which is number of machines broken down in the respective month which is BJ. 
multiply cost of repair after the breakdown per machine divided by the respective month. So since we have used the cumulative formula, we have summed up the probabilities here. We need to divide it by the respective month. So for example, if it is first month, B1 machines has been failed. So B1 multiplied by cost of repairing the breakdown is 100 rupees which is given in the question. So B1 multiplied by 100 divided by 1. And if it is cost breakdown cost for the second month, B2 multiplied by 100 divided by 2. And if it for third month, it is B3 multiplied by 100 divided by 3. So this is the respective month we are dividing because we are averaging on the per month basis. Okay, so our aim is to find the per month cost. Okay, so now we have done with the part one. Part two is you are installing a preventive maintenance policy and this also we need to calculate per month. So for the first month we have uh, we always have 50 machines and for preventive maintenance it is given in the question as 20 rupees. So 50 machines 20 rupees per machine divided by the uh, month. So it is for the first month so 50 multiplied by 20 divided by 1 is equal to 1000. And for the second month, it's going to be 50 multiplied by 20 divided by 2. It's going to be 1000 divided by 2. It's going to be 500. And just extrapolate for all the 8th month, guys. So we have part 1 and part 2. So we have part 1 and part 2. And some total of part 1 and part 2 is taken here. Okay, so what is the sum total of part 1 and part 2? Part 1 is the cost of repairing the breakdown. Part 2 is the cost of preventive maintenance, uh, serv preventive servicing. So the cost of maintenance with preventive maintenance policy is the sum total of these two which is taken here. So this is the total expected cost per month of preventive maintenance and repair. So you are repairing the breakdown as well as you are doing preventive maintenance. So our aim is to reduce this. So in the first month if you see it is 1500 in the second month it has gone down to 900 in the third month it has gone down to 701 in the fourth month it has gone down to 668.75 however in the fifth month it is rising so what does this show guys okay it is a sum total of repairing the breakdown plus preventive maintenance okay if you see the trend of preventive servicing cost alone it is going it will be going down only so if you see here for the first month it is 1000 and second month it is going to be 500 and it is going to go down but if you see the breakdown cost after some month if it will increase so guys this shows that the minimum prevent minimum cost of maintenance with preventive policy is going to be on the fourth month which is 668.75 this shows that if you do preventive maintenance for a four months once okay for every four months you are doing one preventive maintenance that will give the lowest cost to the company what cost lowest cost of maintenance to the company so now i am going back to the question what is asked in the question minimum cost of preventive servicing frequency okay company should have minimum cost at the same time for that minimum cost what is the uh, frequency at which I should do the preventive maintenance. So if I do preventive maintenance for four months once that's going to give me the lowest cost of 668.75 okay so guys illustration 7 is also given in the uh, book and that is exactly repetition of the same problem guys okay so yes guys that's that's about this problem So guys stay tuned and uh, we'll meet you on October 20th or 21st with uh, Spare Parts Management class. Okay, please subscribe to channel so that you will get auto updates of all the videos what I post. Thank you guys and all the best.